Hi, my name is Thomas Foster and this is a video tutorial on the Session View of Ableton Live 10.1. The Session View is very exciting, especially in a live operation. But it can also be interesting in the studio. We switch between the Arrangement View and the Session View here with these two buttons. Or with the tabulator key of your computer. Because we want to work now in the session view, we click on the second button and here we see the tracks from left to right. We have two MIDI tracks, as we don't need them, we select them both with the shift key and then we click the backspace key on our keyboard to erase them. Now we have two audio tracks, let's make some more uh, by using the key command command T on the PC control key or you do it in the create menu with insert audio track. Now the level is on 0 dB, maybe this can be too much and then we have distortion problems so we select all tracks and go down to something like minus 6, uh, minus six that's between 0 and 12 somewhere here, minus 6 that's good. And if you want to use the same samples like I do, you can use the same web page called mutant.com. Mutant is a great web page for samples and audio files that I'm involved in. And you can search by text by saying I need a piano, something like this, or I need something that sounds like house music. You can use this... Uh, menus here to uh, choose something like I want to have chords and immediately you find chord instruments. You can say I want just special uh, keys like A minor, you can search for special tempo or you can search for groups. They are coming in colors and every group has a special tempo and a special key. So I go now for red and everything has the same chords, the same harmonies, the same tempo, the same key. And you can listen to them. And if you like it, you just click free download. And then it's immediately downloading to your download folder. And they are the most of them are free. Basically, it's a shop system, so you also can shop for them. But the most of them are free. You can download them and you have the rights to use them. You can use them in your production and release your production, including these samples on Spotify, YouTube's, uh, iTunes or um, YouTube or whatever. All right. I already downloaded some red samples and now I take some beat samples. Here it says beat 126. I take all the beats and place them here on the first track. Now we can click on the first and listen to this. Ableton found already the right tempo, that's perfect. And it's already running in a loop, what is also perfect. Three, four, bath. That's perfect. Let's stop it again. If the tempo is not perfect, then you see the tempo here. It's 126. It's, it's saying the tempo in the name of the audio file. You put on here the warp mode and type in here the tempo that the file has. And then you can change later the tempo to any other tempo. But let's go to the original tempo of 126 BPM. Uh, the amazing thing on the session view is that if you change to another beat, the changing is happening in time. That means it's not changing immediately, it's waiting until the beginning of the next bar and then it's changing to the next audio file. Let's listen to this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and change. Huh? Still the wrong tempo. Let's change it here to 120 and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and here we go. It's always in time. 3, 4, that's very cool. 
and we click here to stop it. Wonderful. Let's add another instrument. Why don't we add the conga on the next track? Let's start here the beat. And now we add the conga and it's already in time and sound perfect. Great, let's add a bass. We have here three bass instruments. Let's place them here on the next track. Maybe we rename the track. So I select it here uh, with Command or um, R, we say drums. Or you also can right click here and say rename. And let's, this is a percussion, right? And here we have the bass. All right. Uh, let's start again with this one here. Now we add the conga. And now we add the bass. That's great. So the next thing we want to add is uh, a piano or another chord instrument, a synthesizer here. Let's place it on track 4. Let's call this track Chords. And let's keep it running and add the piano. One, two, three, four. And let's change the beat while we are in play mode. Oh, that's great. You feel like a DJ. You will love it. Um, so the next thing we can do is to start to arrange a little bit our song by building the different steps. So what we do, we place all audio files. Uh, I, I just click here and move the mouse to here to select everything. And now I place all my clips down here. All right. And I want to start with this beat. Let's listen to the speed to stop everything else. We click one time here, then we stop everything, right? And now we play just the speed. It's wonderful. And I guess I prefer this beat here. Let's start with this one. So we change this. We start here with this beat. Now I copy this beat uh, by holding down the option key and placing a copy on the second slot. And we add here the conga. All right, and now we can change the whole two lines here on the master track. So if I click on the first arrow, we hear just the speed. And now I click on the second arrow, we start the same beat again with the conga. Now we want to add the bass. I click on the third slot. Now it's just the bass because we forgot to copy beat and conga. So let's do this by holding down the option key. Let's copy all three. I select the first with the shift key. I select the second to select all three and copy it again. And we add the piano. Next thing we want to do is we just want to play the piano and the conga. Let's listen to this. Wonderful. And now we take this beat here that comes with more power and we add the conga, we add the bass and we change the piano to the synthesizer. And at the last step, we just play the conga, right? Uh, let's go down here a little bit. All right, let's try that. We start with the beat. One, two, three, we change. We want to hear the conga now. And now we add line three with the bass. Now we wait four bars. And one, two, three, and here we add the piano. Wonderful. Normally we would play this much longer, but now. That's great. And now one, two, three, four. That's great. Um, now imagine you are in a live situation. Maybe it's not so comfortable with the mouse to click on these little arrows here. What you can do, you can use a keyboard or another kind of MIDI controller to automate 
all your tracks here or you can do it with the keyboard of your computer. If you want to do it with your keyboard, you use here this MIDI function to do it exactly the same way that I show you now with the key function to use your computer computer keyboard. So we click now on key. Immediately you see that everything is a little bit orange. Not everything, just the things you can program, you can automate over your keyboard. I click here this first arrow. Now it's white saying I'm ready to take a key command that you learn me now. And now I click on the button one of my keyboard. And immediately you see here this little one saying, I learned you the one. Now let's do the same with the button two. I click on this arrow. I click on the button two of my computer keyboard. Three, four, five, six. And seven, seven is, is there something on seven? I'm not sure. Eight is empty. So I make this with a zero because it's easier to remember if I click zero, everything starts at the uh, stops at the next beat. Yeah, you could do the same here with MIDI with a MIDI keyboard or a MIDI controller. But now we want to try it over our computer uh, keyboard. I click now the button one on my computer keyboard. Immediately we hear the beat. I click the two. I click the three. That's wonderful. I click now the four and the five and the zero. So let's say we want to change the beat here while we play a whole line. So let's go to key again. I use the buttons Q and W. Here you see Q, W uh, to program them. And now I can click again, one to start the first line, two to start the conga, three to add the bass. And now with Q and W, I can change the beat while this line is running. This is Q, you see now this clip is running. And now I press the W now. Great, so we are ready for our live performance or we want to record it now in our studio situation to start building up our song. All right, let's do this. So I click here on the stop button to go to the beginning of my song. Then I start the recording here with this record button. While the rec recording is running, I can change the view to see how I'm recording the tracks. And I can change back to see which clip I'm starting. And I'm recording the clips and I'm also recording the levels or every other controller I'm using. Okay, let's start. I press record and press the one on my computer keyboard to start the beat. I change the view here to the arrangement view and we see immediately how our beat is recording. Let's start line number two. And three. And you see immediately how we are recording conga and everything. I click the four. Piano is in additional. If I change something here, like the panorama, piano is now left. Also, this is recording. Now I press the five. Now line five is playing without the drums. One more time. And now let's play line six. While we are recording, I'm using the tabulato key to change the view between session view and arrangement view. Let's start next line, the conga. And let's make a fade out on the conga. That was pretty nice. Um, now everything is a little bit gray because still the session view is active. 
the arrangement view is not active. You see this because everything is a little bit gray. To change this, we click here on this orange button and boom. Now we see it, we can listen to it. Wonderful. And we also can see the automation. We were recording the automation on this level here. You see the red point is saying there is an automation. And here on the panorama of this track here. To see this uh, automation, we click here this button or the A key on our computer. And now you see the panorama we made or the level change we make. Let's listen to the panorama. Piano is going to the left, it's going to the right. Let's see here, let's listen here to the volume automation. And for sure you can edit the automation very easy. My name is Thomas Foster and this is my YouTube or Facebook channel Thomas Foster Music Production, which is all about music production. Here you will find tutorials on the most important DAWs or music programs, the most important plugins and I'll show you how to produce the current sound of the charts and the clubs. If you have any questions about this video or more generally about music production, just write me in the comments. I'll answer all your questions. Of course, I'm also happy about a simple feedback or suggestion for another video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my videos. At this point, I say thank you for being there. Always stay creative. Cheers!